What up, guys? Um, Jen's here, and I actually want to share a little story with you guys. And this is completely true what I'm about to tell you guys. This is actually the reason. Like, I know a lot of you guys know me for my music and all this and that, but this is something that's very important to me that I was basically forced to give up that I don't think it was very fair. Um, as you guys can probably tell by the title, um, I was actually forced to give up my dreams of doing professional baseball at a young age. And it sucks, because, like, you know, as a young kid growing up, you know, I had coaches and everybody telling me I've got this talent for doing baseball, and I still have it. Like, all the time I get people telling me, dude, why don't you do it professionally? And the reason for that is because, one, I can't afford the camps, because even growing up, you know, I got offered to do... You know, sponsorship camps. Um, I got many baseball camps that wanted to, you know, take me on. But my problem was that we couldn't afford those camps. Like, they wouldn't help us pay for it or anything like that, which sucks. And it wasn't until about high school that I got back into doing baseball, which didn't last very long. I tried out for the team, did really well. But unfortunately, due to the school's budget, they had to close down the baseball team, which sucks because we had a great team lined up. Um, you know, I was very much looking forward to doing it. Like, and that's one thing I've always had a very big passion for, is doing baseball. But the reason I was forced to give it up was because of money. Um, and I know a lot of you guys are wondering, hey, why don't you do it now? That's because I've always been getting told that, you know, recruiters will not recruit someone of my age. And I'm 26. And yeah, it's unfair, I'll admit. Uh, I didn't finish, you know, high school. I didn't, you know, get to do my GED because it costs money around here, which I think is ridiculous. But really, all in all, it's mostly because of the fact that I don't have money and because I also got screwed over in high school. So... Yeah, it sucks. And let me show you guys something. For those of you that are watching. Oh, let's see if I can find it here. There we go. You guys see this baseball right here? It's actually a speedometer baseball. <clears throat> and what it does is when you throw your baseball, it measures your pitching speed. See? You got the start and then your miles per hour right there. And there is a warning on the sign. Do not hit with this. Why well, don't hit this with the bat. And for good reason too because it will break it. It's actually for, you know, pitching. Um, see, changeable pitching distance. Um, basically, what it does is it measures the distance you throw and how fast you throw it. Well, this ball I've thrown. The last time I threw, I topped out at 65, which is about average for your professional thrower, for your professional pitcher. I guess I'm just sitting here tossing it around. But honestly, I would love to get back into doing baseball again. 
I really would. Like, it's something I grew up doing as a kid. Um, you know, it's something I've always had a very big passion for. Um, I know I didn't finish high school. I know I didn't go to college. And I know that I can't afford a GED, but honestly, playing baseball is all I've ever wanted to do with my life. I never really wanted to do music. The reason why I took on music was because really, what else could I do? Like, and, you know, and that's a major thing for me. Like, it does kill me that I could not play. Like, you guys don't know how bad I hate sitting here doing this shit. Yes, I'm good with it. And I'll admit that. But honestly, I would rather be out playing baseball and getting paid to play the game that I love. And honestly, it shouldn't matter whether you finish high school or not. I mean, unless you're going to play college ball, why do it? And a lot of people are saying, oh, well, you have to go to college to, you know, get recruited in this and that. And you're right to a certain extent. But also, there are local teams that would be willing to recruit. But honestly, around here, there are no local baseball teams recruited. The last recruitable team, I talked to their coach about trying out, and their tryouts had just ended a week before. And yes, I tried talking him into, you know, giving me a shot anyways and letting him see what I can do. Like, you know, just basically letting him see, you know, just how good I am. Because growing up, I've had, you know, people tell me I was good. Was supposed to go to camp, but couldn't afford it. So really, that's the real reason why I gave that up is because of all of that. And was that fair to me? Not really. So, you know, like, I definitely would like to play again. Like, I really would. Because baseball is, that's like my whole world right there. Um, you know, my home team is, you know, Seattle Mariners, because obviously I'm out of Washington State. So, you know, shout out to Seattle. Um, I also am a football fan, and I'm sure you guys already know by now who my favorite team is. And it's Seahawks, if you haven't guessed. Seattle Seahawks. Go to the Man Army. <laughs> but, if you guys know of any local teams that are willing to, you know, take me on, you know, let me know. I mean, yes, I might not have graduated high school. I might not have you know, done the best throughout life. But you know something? Doing baseball is what I love. And whether you graduate high school or not, that shouldn't matter. That should not matter whether you graduate high school or not. What should matter is the fact that you play. I'm sorry, but academics should not mean anything as far as playing. Like, what does getting a grade have to do with how well you play on the field? What does having good grades have to do with, you know, your love for the game and how well you play that game? I've had professional recruiters from a kid up until now telling me I need to be doing this. Like, seriously, I, I've had a ton of people telling me, dude, why don't you do this? That's not fair that you can't play. Like, dude, you may be 26, but, and this is what I get every day, I kid you not. Every day I get that I talk about it, I get told, they're like, dude, you're 26. Like, everybody I talk to about this, I get told, and this is completely true. This is exactly what they say to me. To the T. And they always tell me, they're like, dude, you're 26. Yes, you're a little bit old to be recruited, but you've got the skill of a young player who's just as good as these major league guys. 
I get told that every time. Would I like to play again? Hell yes, I would. I would kill to play professional. And even if it isn't professional, I'd like to at least play. Like, even if it's minor league, I would still love to play. I would still love to get played to get paid to play the game that I love. Like, I mean, and don't get me wrong, guys. I do know that academics do count for a lot. But at the end of the day, what do grades have to do with how well you play the sport that you love? Seriously. What do grades have to do with how well you perform in the sport of your choice, whether it be NASCAR? Granted, I know a lot of schools don't do NASCAR, but, you know, if you want to get into that, hey, that's awesome, because yes, I am a NASCAR fan as well. If you guys didn't know already, I am an Earnhardt supporter all the way. Earnhardt Senior, Junior, the whole deal. So, but like, whether you do baseball, football, basketball, hockey, tennis, whatever sport you play, like, what should grades have to do with that? It isn't, a, honestly, it shouldn't be about the grades. It should be about how well you play. Your grades should not dictate how well you play. Your grades should not dictate whether you play or don't play. That's one thing that really pisses me off. Grades do not determine your fucking fate, people. Look at me. I honestly, yes, I'll admit, I dropped out of high school. But I had a reason to. I had a very good reason. That's because I got fucked over out of my diploma. And the school board refuses to give me another chance to get it back. They refuse to let me fight it. And is that fair to me? No, not really. Can I get my GED? No, because it costs money. And is that fair to me? No. I want to be able to play again. More than anything, I would love to play again. So if you guys know anybody, and I mean anybody out there who is recruiting, even people who don't have a high school diploma or a GD or anything, let me know. Get me in touch with them. And if you know anybody who's willing to take on a player for free, you know, I am always open, you know, I'm always here. Because honestly, I would love to play again. I really would. Because you guys don't understand how much it pisses me off having to sit here. And, you know, settle for doing music. And other shit. Rather than doing the one thing I love most. Like, y'all don't know how much that pisses me off. I'm not an inside person. When I'm an outside person. I love playing sports. I love getting dirty. I love, like, everything about being outside and playing sports. The only reason I do stay inside is because there's literally nothing out here to do. There's no baseball teams recruiting. There's no way to play with around here as far as... You know, getting a game together. Like, literally, there is nothing here in Akron. It is dead. Literally. It is dead. I mean, and yes, don't get me wrong. I'm good with music. You guys know this by now. But honestly, I am sick of being stuck inside. And the reason why I'm stuck inside is because of many reasons. One of them being because of how dangerous it is around here. Because we do have gangs on either end. So you have to be very careful. But with that being said, guys. You know. Like. I hope you guys like and share this around. Like I said, guys, 
If you guys know any teams recruiting right now, please tell me. Because all I've ever wanted to do is play. That has been my number one dream since I was a kid is to play. And still is. So if you guys know of any teams recruiting right now, no matter the age range, you know, let me know. Because I seriously do want to get back into it. I'm very serious about playing. So if you guys know anybody, let me know. With that being said, guys, I'm going to end this live stream and chill. And I'll catch you guys later, man.